All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to present a really cool max min problem that doesn't use any calculus at all. We'll just use pure algebra to solve this. And in particular, let's try to find the minimum of the function absolute value of x plus absolute value of y plus absolute value of z over x, y, z on that sphere. So suppose you're walking on Earth and want to find the smallest value of that function, that's what we'll solve today. And again, no derivatives, no Lagrange multipliers, it's really, really neat. So let's call this function f of x, y, z. And in particular, note, in order to minimize this, because the numerator is positive, it's best to look for x, y, z that are negative because it just makes the function negative, which is exactly what we want. So without loss of general, without loss of general, without loss of generality, <laughs> based by symmetry, we can just assume all of them are negative. So x, y, z are negative. Okay. And then what we want to consider, well, since all of those are negative, the numerator becomes minus x minus y minus z. So step one, consider. So minus x minus y minus z, but even better, let's consider the average. Why do we consider the average? Because now we can apply the arithmetic geometric mean inequality. And what it says is that the arithmetic mean, so the average as we know it, is bigger than or equal to the geometric mean, which is the cube root of minus x minus y minus c. So that's on the one hand. On the other hand, let's consider this term again. So essentially, it's almost a, like a squeeze theorem kind of argument because minus x minus y minus z over 3, that is the same thing as the dot product of x, y, z dotted with minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 over 3. But now, to this, we can just apply the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, which simply says this is less than or equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared times the square root of minus 1 squared minus 1 squared minus 1 squared. So square root of 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 3 but now, remember, this is not arbitrary. Since we are on the sphere of radius r, this just becomes r over 3 times square root of 3, and which is just r over square root of 3. So, unraveling this, starting with this, less than or equal to that by arithmetic geometric mean, less than or equal by Cauchy-Schwarz, what we ultimately get is that this term is less than or equal to this term. And that will be very useful. So, to summarize, the cube root of minus x minus y minus z is less than or equal to uh, r over square root of 3. Which means now we can just cube all sides and we get minus x times minus y times minus z is less than or equal to r cubed square root of 3 cubed, which is just 3 square root of 3. And this is useful because we'll see soon the, numer the denominator of the function will uh, use this. So now let's go back to our function. So step two, we had f of x, y, z. Well, it did have absolute values, but since everything was negative, it's minus x minus y minus z over x, y, z. And here's the beautiful thing, this minus, just put it on the denominator. So this is the same thing as, same thing as x plus y plus z over minus x 
minus y minus z. But this is great because now this is on the denominator and we have a less than or equal, so now it becomes greater than or equal, which is just what we want for a minimum. So this becomes x plus y plus z over, again, uh, r cubed over 3 square root of 3. But I would like to remind you in our, you know, kind of chain of inequalities, we actually got the following thing. Again, I think there was a cauchy schwarz business. We did get that minus x minus y minus z over 3 is less than or equal to r over square root of 3, which actually means by putting the minus on the other side, we get x plus y plus z is greater or equal to, let's see, so 3 over square root of 3, so minus square root of 3r. So another greater or equal, which is amazing. So in the end, what we get, f of x, y, z, again, it's greater or equal to this gibberish, so minus square root of 3r over r cubed over 3 square root of 3. But now flipping everything, what we get, in the end, this simplifies, so again, square root of, so 3 and then square root of 3, so I think it becomes minus 9r over r cubed, and that is minus 9 over r squared. So, the function is at least bounded below by minus 9 over r squared. But just because it's bounded below, it doesn't mean it's the minimum, but we're actually in big luck, and this is what makes this problem so magi magical. This is actually a value of f, namely, it's f of minus r over square root of 3, minus r over square root of 3, minus r over square root of 3. So in fact, the question is, what was the minimum of f? Well, the minimum is precisely minus 9 over r squared. How cool is that? And again, how much calculus did we use? None whatsoever. Just some little arithmetic geometric mean, a sprinkle of cauchy schwarz and some algebra. <laughs> And finally, you may ask, what about uh, the maximum value? Well, all you can choose is simply x and y to be close to 0, and then z to be close to r. Then what you get is something r over 0 plus, and that is plus infinity. So in fact, uh, the maximum value uh, doesn't exist. But at least the minimum value does. How, how exciting. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.